Hey everyone, so today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your own custom cards by using your Cricut machine. Now this is a collaboration with YouTuber Do Dream On here on the platform. So you can check out her social channels down below in the description, or you can tag her name in the title of this video. But other than that, let's get started. I love these cards because you can give it to someone on their birthday for a special occasion, or you can even sell them and have additional source of income for yourself. I will be going over the tools and materials that you would need to create your own custom card. You would definitely need a Cricut machine, a scoring stylus, and a Cricut pen. I also have a glue stick, cardstock photo that's about 65 pounds, eight and a half by 11 inches, and my Cricut mat. Now I already have my image imported now I'm going to put in a square you want to make sure you unlock that square but I'm going to change the color first now go ahead and unlock it so we can change the dimension and we're going to have it for about eight and a half by seven okay so your width should be eight and a half your height should be seven now I'm going to move that up just a little bit Now I'm gonna take my image and adjust it to my liking because we're gonna place this image on top of the card, but you wanna make sure that you go to arrange and then send to front so it could be on front of the card. Now I plan to place it at the bottom and I'm gonna still keep making adjustment to I like what I see. Once you like what you see, you can go ahead and duplicate that image. Now we're just gonna go ahead and hide that. Now we're gonna place that image back on the card. And then you wanna make sure you select all, go ahead to align, and then align to bottom. Just make sure everything is nice and straight. Then we're gonna select all again and click weld. Then this is gonna give you the outline for your image. And make sure you take that second image and then send to front so we can place it to see if it aligns. All right, so as you guys can see, that is perfect. So once everything is cut out, I can glue it on top of my card, but we still got more work to do. The next step, you're gonna go and click shape. You're gonna click that line and this is going to be the scoring to have that line in the middle, which will make it easier for us to fold. Now you're gonna change the height to seven. Next, you're gonna select everything. You're gonna click align, then center. And that's gonna make sure that your score line is in the center of the card. Now I'm gonna take my image and place it on top of the card, like so. Then I'm gonna click text, and then you can write any message that you want on your card. So I am typing in magical. Then I'm gonna make some adjustments to the size, but before I do that, I'm gonna check to see if there's any fonts that I may wanna change it to. You can also filter out and change it to writing to see other type of fonts that are available. Next, you wanna click curve, and then this is, this is where it will allow you to curve it to your liking. So I want to curve it around her hair. So I'm gonna play around and just make some adjustment as I see fit. Now, I think I like it like that. So next, we're gonna move the photo out. I'm gonna select all and click attached. And also I realized it said cut for text. So you wanna make sure it says pin under draw. Okay, now it's perfect. <laughs> Next we're gonna click make it. And the first thing that Cricut is gonna do is print our image, which will need to be sent to a printer first. And then send to printer and make sure it's on add bleed. 
Make sure everything is correct and click print. All right, so I have printed out my image. Now I'm gonna place it on my mat so Cricut can cut out my photo. All right, so now I could peel it off the mat. And then I can place that image to the side. Next is doing the second part. So I am gonna to have to load in the card stock that I plan to use for my card. So now that the machine is scoring our card and we're just following the steps that Cricut is giving us to make sure that all steps are complete. So I'm placing my card stock on the mat. Then I'm gonna place my scoring stylus on part A. And then I'm gonna snap it in. Then we're going to load our mat. And then press the blinking button and let it do its thing. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take my Cricut pin and place it in part A, and then snap it in, and then press go. After it's done writing, it will cut out your card. When it's done, it should look like this and you can peel off any excess paper. Then you can peel your card off the mat. All right, you can see here in the center, my, my scoring line. Then you go ahead and fold that in. Then we could place that image on top with a glue stick. But you see how it's looking so far? I'm like, I'm so in love with this card. So I decided I wanted to add like a darker pink paper in the center of the card. So you can do this manually and just use like it's either some scissors or a Zacto knife, or you can use your Cricut to cut it. So I did it by hand and I'm just going to glue it in, but first I'm gonna glue the first image on top of the card. Then I'm gonna glue that paper right on that one page. Alrighty, we are officially done with our custom card. See, it wasn't that bad, right you guys? If you would like to see more tutorials with my Cricut machine, drop a comment down below. Also make sure you check out my other tutorials with my Cricut. I definitely don't want you guys to miss out on that. Other than that, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.